Okay, so it's official now. It's my birthday. I, I'm not going to say how old I am because I don't want to. <laughs> I was born in 77. You do the math. Anyway, um, I want to talk about August 2nd because that was yesterday and I didn't get into an update. Yes, I still have makeup on. Yes, I've got to go wash it off after I do this video. Um, I feel like my voice is going again. Allergies are terrible. Anyway, um, let's start from late last night. What you guys didn't know was there was an inordinate amount of time between my first video and the book review. And what was the reasoning, you may ask? Simple. The reasoning was Grandpa got up and he was so mad and angry about the mower we got and then this morning he got me up early and he said we're going to take that back to Home Depot right now and it was a little bit of a conflict because even though we had bought the mower with the bag on the back he didn't want the mower with the bag on the back he wanted a mower without the bag on the back so yours truly had to placate him even though I liked the one with the bag on the back because I didn't get the self-propelled if you know what I mean had to call out to Home Depot. I called out to Home Depot and asked him, hey, will you take this bag? And he wants a Troy built, yes, but he wants one without a bag. Well, of course, they didn't sell that. But uh, they said, we'll refund the money. And um, that's when I came up with the solution. Hey, you do have it in Champaign. The lady was so nice to get the, the serial numbers or SKU numbers off of the um, mower that they had in Champaign. And... I said that's great so I went to the store with grandpa and my day was just not the way I planned and I don't like that because I'm I'm one of these people that when I plan something it's got to go a certain way it, I, I just don't deal well with little blip ups or surprises nothing like that I am a very organized person as a rule and I like things to go a certain way meanwhile uh, we had all these uh, other uh, opponents of the day, components of the day, I should say, uh, not falling into place. Uh, my mom was doing errands in Effingham. My, my cousin Penny, we hadn't heard from her, but then, you know, when we did hear from her, we didn't know if she was going to go or not, and I was worried and concerned over that. And um, anyway, um, Grandpa had also had a nosebleed at 2.30 last night, which was not good. So I was concerned over that. So I knew that, you know, we just had to go with whatever he wanted and, and kind of placate with the day. So uh, we had a little feud, but it was okay. It got ironed out after a while. And um, the good news was, let's go to Tuscola. We went to Tuscola, and we got to go to Fleshner's Candy Kitchen Kitchen and sit in what I call like a library room, which was totally cool, <laughs> a long table, and there was two different types of flower bouquets. One was a sunflower, one was like a purple poppy, and it was so cool. Anyway, they're live flowers in a little jar. I call it jar, but, you know, what vase, whatever. And it was so cool. Um, we all had a wonderful meal. I had a turkey, bacon, lettuce, tomato with uh, onion rings that I shared with my uh, niece Mackenzie and applesauce. Um, and uh, I had iced tea and sweet to drink. Everybody had something to eat. I didn't focus too much on that, but it was so cool. We all sat, we chatted, we enjoyed the atmosphere. It was great. We had fast service. They were Johnny on the spot with refilling the drinks. Totally great. Um, the uh, candy factory gave me a dessert for my birthday since we were celebrating my birthday with everybody because Little did we not know that uh, Pe Cousin Penny won't be with us tomorrow, unfortunately, and neither will Mackenzie. So, unfortunately, they won't be with us. It'll be just be my mom, me, and Grandpa. And we've got little bits and tids bits going throughout the day of tomorrow. But, back to the second. So, on the second, what happened was, <clears throat> after we got done eating... Uh, they gave me a free dessert, which I chose a chocolate milkshake, which I shared with Grandpa and everybody else, because I'm not too much on ice cream. No joke. Now, give me frozen yogurt. Awesome. Just saying. That was actually later part of the day. But back to the beginning part of the day. Um, after we got done with Tuscola, remember that Home Depot thing where he got his money back? Well, they didn't have a Troy built here in Mattoon. But they had it in Champagne, so we had to make the purchase 
in Champaign and used the curbside pickup to pick up the mower. So we got up uh, after we ate. We just didn't go anywhere else. Loaded on up. Got straight up there to Champaign. And I texted him and did the whole website thing saying, hey, we're here. It took an inordinate amount of time to get what we came for, which was the mower loaded up into the SUV. Finally, I, we all ended up calling the store, and they finally took the mower and brought it out to the SUV. It took a long time to get that mower out to the SUV. Anyway, um, after they did that, which was totally cool, uh, we loaded that up, went home, K uh, Kenzie wanted to go to Shoe Sensation, and I hadn't been there, so we both went and uh, had a good time. She got what she wanted. I just wanted to go to Glance, and luckily I did go because her phone didn't work, and mine did, and I had a 20% off coupon, so I got to use that uh, for her, and she got a good deal on what she calls shoes, which are Sperry's and some little athletic socks. She loves them to death. So then we came home, and... Uh, in between and they all got their dessert they had a little muffin that Mackenzie made which we have more in the refrigerator she made these banana nut, nut like things muffins and blueberry muffins from scratch and then blueberry muffins with blueberries on top and a cream cheese frosting oh my land it looks so good too pretty to eat just saying if our neighbors would get home I would give them a treat but they're away for right now um anyway um we got the mower out of the the SUV Kenzie and I did we brought it in the house and all of us together as a family unit Penny had left by that time but uh, grandpa uh, mom me and Mackenzie were reading this ma uh, like manual thing to try and put this thing together you talk about fun that was fun and uh, Mackenzie did a lot of the hard labor she is just a whiz kid when it comes to putting things together just a snap it was just done in a matter of minutes thank God for her and uh, we took it outside the front steps and brought it around the back of the house and put oil and gas in it and my mom had the first run with it and she said it would just worked like a, a dream um, grandpa then I, I told him I said you better get on that rider make sure it works because you've had it worked on so much lately and you know with the good prices out there at Home Depot we don't want you to miss out so I wanted him to see if he was going to be able to work on that thing. He, he made a go of it. I mean, but the air filter fell out. So I don't know. I don't have much faith in it because I know we were going to have to buy an air filter now. I'm really concerned about that because Kenzie had pulled up on her phone while he was mowing about how it could damage the mower by not having the air filter in the mower. So stay tuned on that. Um, really concerned. Um, I got some really great gifts already, although the best gift that was given to me was the gift of their time because we made memories that are priceless, that you can't go to a store and refund, you can't buy and purchase. That's the best thing of all. Um, this little thing here is my new artwork pencil holder. Yes, gotten at Goodwill, and I picked it out myself. And this is a Montana Silversmith necklace. I don't know if y'all... I, I kind of love Montana because I read those books of Harlequin, right? And it's got an actual filigree heart on a gold 24 karat chain. Um, I've got this Hallmark necklace. And it's a teardrop. It's by the Accents of Hallmark Gifts. And that's my birthstone, August. I never did like my birthstone. I think it's the ugliest birthstone ever, but I think everybody thinks that every once in a while. Um, this was that necklace that I was telling you about. It is a 22 karat gold accent glass art with an 18 inch cord, hand, cord handcrafted decorated with Swarovski crystals, genuine crystal accents by the Glass Baron, B as in boy, A-R-O-N. And yes, it's a handmade jewelry. So I thought that was pretty nice. Grandpa got that and of course I got brakes for the car. I had a nice meal today. Grandpa got me uh, my haystacks from um, up there at uh, oh the candy factory. I call it candy factory. They call it can candy kitchen because they serve breakfast and lunch. But if you haven't been there, go there. You won't regret it. I am their biggest fan, and they know that. Um, it, it, it's been a great birthday and everything. 
and if I know tomorrow we're going to go get my eyes seen about. That's what my mom's doing. She wants to get my eyes seen about. She wants to uh, see if my right eye is bad as it was said it was last year. And the eye doctor last year kept hinting at eye surgery or bifocals, and I'm really hoping it doesn't come to that. But I, when I was younger, I did severe damage by wearing contacts and sleeping in my contacts and being stubborn and bullheaded. I kind of do that the best. Anyway, um, my eyes got so dry and I didn't even think. But when you're young, you don't think. That's the problem. And of course, when I went to go take the contact out, I had had all sorts of problems when I was younger with the contacts rolling in the eyelid, to them having to roll the eyelid back, to them having to reach in and, you know, do everything. But then I uh, scratched my cornea and, and the uh, pupil area and did major damage on my right eye and it is what it is so you know I've, I'm always prepared for the worst anymore it seems like that you got to in life rather than the best because it doesn't seem to work out that way um, one of my friends said are you gonna wear makeup tomorrow like you did today you look better with makeup thank you um, I would say I would love to wear eye makeup tomorrow but since I'm going to the eye doctor I might just wear like a base, which is blush powder and a little bit of my eyebrows, but probably nothing on the eyes due to the fact that that's what I'm going to go see the eye doctor for tomorrow is, you know, my eyes. So, and I don't think that, you know, walking out of there looking like one of those rock stars with mascara running down my face is something I want to go for, you know? Anyway, um... It was a pretty good day all in all. Glad I got to share a little bit of this with you. And <clears throat> if you read my Facebook, I already gave thanks where thanks is due. I'm extremely grateful for everything that I have been given and extremely grateful for all the blessings of friends, family, YouTube viewers, uh, followers on Twitter, uh, everybody and anybody. I, I just want to know that 2020 is a year to be grateful. And... Um, appreciate the good and you know I'm at the point in my life where I'm getting older um, there I admitted it and I don't want to have fights I don't want to have arguments with anyone I want to just get along and I don't know call it an old age hippie age you know be at be the point where you're just wanting to, to live a peaceful life you know, and that's where I'm at. So, you know, it's, it, there's a lot of sadness, yes, with that, but you just have to go, well, you know, we're not promised anything in life. And, and a lot of things, when it comes to uh, relationships, it's hard, y'all. You know, you got to get along with each other. You got to be able to put up with each other's... <laughs> bad days, good days, in between days, and you know, sometimes you're, you know, too much hard to love. And one of those girls who's got her heart on lockdown, um, and I love Lee Bryce, I can't say that enough. Um, I think, you know, when you get scared and you're, you're like going, I don't know if I can trust in love again, I don't know if I can believe in love again. I, that maybe you're just better off not believing in it. In a, and like I've said a million times on here, it does exist on Hallmark movies. It does exist in my books that I read. Sometimes my artwork. Um, but in my life, I think that sometimes I'm just too hard to handle. And um, it's sad, but it's true. Because here in the real world, it's not that easy at all. Because when hearts get broken, it's real tears that fall. And darling, it's sad but true. But the one thing I learned from you is how the girl don't always get the boy here in the real world 
Yeah, that's Alan Jackson's song. Done a little differently. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and, and uh, enjoy tomorrow, which, like I said, at 3.30, which my mom's trying to get that moved up, is my eye appointment. I want to get to Goodwill tomorrow because they're having a 50% off sale, plus they're doing the color of the day again. I'm so grateful for that. And uh, then I want to also get to Aldi's tomorrow. That's very important to me. So, and maybe Dollar Tree. Maybe, you know, not holding my breath. I wish B&D was open, but we haven't been down there in like forever. So maybe, uh, I know Grandpa said Thursday we're going to go down there. So that, I'm looking forward to that. But other than that, that's my life. And I'm grateful for my life. I hope you're wearing your mask, keeping your social distance, using your hand sanitizer, which I found my little travel buddy. Isn't he cute? And most definitely, don't be mean, don't be cruel. Just want the best for each other. And if you don't want the best for each other, then don't bother each other. I've read so many of these relationship questions lately, and it's so sad. You know, sometimes it's love is right there in the palm of their hand, but yet they want to nitpick at things. Sometimes you got to pick your battles. Sometimes it's not always the biggest battle that matters the most, but the smallest battle. And then sometimes it's not the smallest battle, but the biggest battle. But anyway, I want you all to take a time out and I want you just to take a deep breath let it all out now after that deep breath I want you to think about this how can I improve or make better the rest of 2020 do it for yourself first and then if it affects anybody else Bravo! Then you've made a better person out of yourself and the person you're trying to help. Good for you. I'm tired, kind of. Not working out tonight. But since this starts my birthday, I'm going to go watch a Ryan Pavey movie and take a night off from my workout. I've been a little under the weather. And I don't know if it's because of emotions or because I'm the weather, which just keeps raining. But, um... Hopefully, tomorrow, after everything's said and done, I can get back to my life the way it is and get back to uh, my workout and uh, just be a better me. After all, I've got a lot of people depending on me. I've got Sammy the cat, Peanut the chihuahua. My mom, who's depending on me to watch over at Grandpa as his caregiver, you know. And Kinsey, you know, who needs me from time to time with eBay guidance. <laughs> and, um, and Cousin Penny, who helps out here by whenever we need her. She's practically on call to us, and that's a blessing, you know. So I'm just saying thank you to all of you, because without you... You are my, like, founding foundation, and it matters. So thank you for being you. I know I said it today at the table, but I hope everybody heard me. The greatest gift that was given to me today was everyone sitting around that table because you can't take time and buy it at Walmart. You can't take time and purchase it off of Amazon or eBay. You can't take time and return it. And you make memories for years to come. It's the thought that matters the most and costs the less. I'm just a simple woman. So I wish everyone the best and nothing less. Stay safe.